Welcome back to our channel, folks. I'm Deb. And I'm Brad. And today we are going to finish the west side fencing. That's right, we're gonna finish it. We're not gonna say we might finish it. We're going to finish it. So this will be the 10th, 10th of our series on the west side fencing. So we hope to get that fence done today. We've only got like half of the T-posts left, left to put in and they're already laid out. We start a lot of our videos with all these things we're gonna do and we don't necessarily get through them, but I really think we're gonna get through that. So that's what we're gonna get done today or that's what's on our agenda. So thanks for watching, stay tuned and watch us work. It's a T-post driver. You gotta put this collar on, then the little driver head slip in there. So Bella heard the tractor and she's already here to supervise. She's not a fan of the fence. So Brad will use the Brad powered <laughs> fence post pounder and then he'll use the gas powered fence driver. But get him started with the um with the Brad powered one. I'm not real sure what happened here, but he mumbled something and he grabbed the fence post puller. So, not happy with the depth or... So I guess he got, uh, the fence driver worked a little too well. He's ciphering. He's comparing this fence post with the fence post that we put in last weekend. I gotta pull this one out, try it again. So first two fence posts, this one he's pulling out. Did you, do you think you hit a root? Oh, he can't hear me. He's got hearing protection on. So it, why it didn't go in the first time. Huh. So even with pulling um, both of them up a little bit and completely redoing that one, it still only took five minutes for two posts. So that's, that's still pretty good. But Deb's gonna start clipping those two posts I just put in, and I'm gonna put these two in and just move down the line that way. So that driver takes a little getting used to. If you keep the center of it centered over the post, it drives better, but it's hard to keep that round circle right over the T post. So if you put it center it, it goes down quicker, but you also notice that I one-handed it because I can guide the post with one hand and hit the trigger with the other, and it keeps the post going in straight. Let's see what Deb's up to. Okay, Miss Clippy. Um, twisty, I think these are twisties. So, what are we doing here? We're refiguring because this doesn't line up correctly. So, well, right, but the fence may not be perfectly straight up and down because the way we stretched it. So, what we really should have is a level, and then we put the level on there, and then you make the clips make the fence plumb. So, I'll go get a level, but in the meantime, Let's uh let's watch <laughs> Miss Piney Grove. Let's, let's let's don't watch this awkwardness in motion as she tries to figure out how to hold the clip and twist the clip and not overextend the clip because and and Bella's super helpful as always. 
Okay, we're getting a slow start here. That muscle memory is not kicking in and I guess we're tired or something because we're just, we're moving at a snail's pace here, but we got four posts in and Deb is clipping them and uh, I think we got everything we need. So I think we're gonna move a little quicker now. Are you caught up to me? I'm caught up to you. Look at me and my twisties. You put you put four in that quick? I put four in that quick. Wow. Me and my twisty tool and my pliers and my bucket. Like I mentioned a few minutes ago, you know, we we were getting a slow start here. We we're both getting a little frustrated, but now that we, we kind of remember what we're supposed to be doing, it's going quicker. And it's actually a little bit fun. It's not bad. We got good temps out here, got a good breeze. Of course, we got neighbor Bella to keep us company. And I don't know what Deb's doing in the background, but I'm sure it's funny for someone. <laughs> that one done? Yes. I'm having trouble staying ahead of her. She's kind of got this clippy thing and the clippy tool down pat. Some of these are really hard. There was a root there by those oak trees and I couldn't get it either side of the black mark because we measured equidistance so we could put two posts, two T-posts in between the wooden posts. So on that one, because the two wooden posts are so close together, they're only 20 some feet, we just went with a single T-post. It's more than adequate. We're, we're doing overkill on this fence, but it just wasn't worth it to keep pushing one T-post over one foot at a time and not having them being balanced or equal distance in between. So we just went with one on that bay. Leading. Hello, camera in my face. Have a boo boo. Bella's eating a briar and Deb is bleeding to death out of her knuckle. <laughs> it's not a good day. It is a good day. All right, folks, we're gonna take an ambulance break. Apparently Mrs. Piney Grove has injured herself. All right, the wind's died down a little bit here, so we're gonna watch Miss Piney Grove do uh, do some clippies. Now we've run out of the ones that work well with the tool, so she actually has to use pliers. These are a lot thicker gauge wire, and uh, they don't bend easy, and they're just a pain, but that's all we've got, so. Now you're going to make me nervous. Don't be nervous. She said that's good enough. <laughs> Let's hold them. Okay. This is okay, but I really, really like my twisty tool. I really like, so if we had a druthers, you'd rather do this or you'd rather use this, this, every day. This was a lot quicker. A lot yeah. easier, a lot quicker. The, the ones that she's using now were the ones that came with some T-posts that I bought. So they're they're the cheapest ones and they're not designed to use the little tool. And these are strictly plier type of twists, but they're fine. I mean, they'll hold it up. You just, it's not as easy to, to get in on the other side of the fence. Did you see my boo-boo? Did you see my boo-boo? Get a war wound it's every like, time. It's like one drop of blood that's going down her finger. Oh, please. And I had to actually get more tissue paper to sop it up. Do you want a band-aid? There's band-aids in the truck, and the truck is not far away. I'm not allowed to stop working. I don't go, get a union break yet. Let me go get a band-aid here before she quits. <laughs> but we are going to get her on the uh, the powered fence uh, T-post driver. I keep wanting to call it a T-post pounder, but that just sounds a little... What does it sound? Risque. A little risque. So we're gonna try and call it a driver. Let me go get her a Band-Aid. So we are we really don't have that much more to go. I think there's a two, four, six, 
Six more to put in the ground and then those sticking up higher have to be driven in, but then we're done from there all the way down. So it's really going really fast. Let me check my watch. We've been doing this for about an hour and 10 minutes. That's it. Brad said two hours and he thought this was a two hour job to finish. I think he's gonna be really close to being spot on. It's my hero with the first aid kit. Look at that. Probably a tourniquet in here if we need it. <laughs> the tourniquet. No, the bleeding. I stopped the bleeding with some dirt and some rust from the old posts. It's good. <laughs> it's a good farm girl. That is a good farm girl. Look at that. Man's prepared. not pounding. <laughs> you pounded your first post, baby. I'm a pounder. <gasps> I'm a driver. That was very cool. Yeah, it's really loud if you don't have hearing protection. So I was trying to stay a little bit away, but uh, he went, I think it hit a root and then you drove it right through the root. I'm a driver. That's just fun. You heard it here. Mrs. Piney Grove thinks putting in T-posts is fun. We got hundreds of T-posts to put in. She's gonna have a lot of fun coming up. I mean, was it faster, slower than you expected, louder, heavier, what? Well, it's loud. I know it's loud because I've been here you know, for two days while we were doing it, but it was heavier than I thought and I don't know why, but there's just power and satisfaction and when it actually starts working and you feel it, um, the one that hit a root, I knew when it hit a root, but boy, once that starts going down, there's just, that's very, very satisfying. I love it. Yeah, manually pounding these or however you want to put them in. I mean, we did that tractor method, but there's no way you can get the tractor up in these areas. I left the very last post for Miss Piney Grove to drive. There's your hearing protection. So pretty honor. Fun time. Post post is in. Of the fence. Woo! Nice. Last clip. Last Deb. clip. Last motion. Last motion. Last turn. Last clip. Turns around. All Turns right. Around. That's it. That. The last clip. The last post. The last bit of fencing for this west side fence after 10 trips. But it's done. This also is the last video about building this fence. There will be other videos maybe where this fence is included, but this will be the last building the west fence of Piney Grove video, folks. <laughs>